refrigerant and recharge on this 2015 Lexus CT200H. So this is the hybrid. Uh, 470 grams are what we're calling for. We already have it down into the micron range when it comes to vacuum. So let's turn off the vacuum and get ready to charge. The hookups and everything were already done. So we zero out our scale. This is the field piece Bluetooth scale. It hooks up wirelessly to the scale you always want to measure by weight. Let me get this down where you can see it. Okay, you measure by weight. So I have the low side off. I have the high side open. Vacuum is off. Turned off the vacuum. And I have the liquid refrigerant setting right here. You see the tank is upside down. We're going to see how long it takes to get 400 and roughly 70 grams. So I got my hand right here, getting ready to turn it on. It's one two go 470 grams how long does it take to get 470 grams in a car as you notice the engine is off and i better start turning this off there we go that's it 470 grams it's full done deal that's all it takes that's all it should ever take and if anybody tells you anything different Go look for some information from somebody else because you're definitely dealing with the wrong person who's giving you information. All right, guys, I'll see you. It is that easy if you do everything right and understand and know the four, three gas laws. And if you want to throw in an extra, there's another gentleman, a scientist who came along and he learned on the backs of the three previous science. He took the three gas laws and it's a... He put them together and came out with the formula and he called them the combined gas laws. You may want to go read about that too, just for extra credit. See you guys. Oh, yes, the field piece vacuum pump, the VPX7. Out of the three models that they offer in this one, this is the biggest one, but it's the lightest one. So it's the easiest to carry around because it has the aluminum housing. And uh, the field piece, 480. V S man and as you see from my last few videos I have you know I got I updated one of my new ones what was really old and I don't use the new one in my videos because I believe in using the oldest piece of equipment for demos not the newest shiniest toy out of the box it's prove that it's durable reliable and lasts for years and thousands of uses not doing some uh, tool review out of something that just popped out of a box and shiny new. We all know new stuff usually works, but what about old stuff when you used it thousands of times? That proves that it's a reliable tool. All right, see you guys.